Bell represents one of the organization's most significant contributions to our city. I also want to thank the artist, George Gadsden. Yeah, yeah. Extraordinary, extraordinary amount of time, talent, energy into this project. He has overseen every step from planning and design to production, installation, and even change orders. We didn't realize we were going to have to protect this so if we had to put a gate around it. So, George, we thank you for that. And even this morning, George is out here putting the finishing touches on the monument to ensure everything looked just right. I want to thank my colleagues from the Fort Lauderdale City Commission. I want to thank the best mayor in the whole wide world. I really like the relaxation of what this brings me. And through that process, this really got rid of stress. Fast forward, I decided that I would take my business sense and my artistic sense and put them together and actually uh, create the business. But folks, I, I will be remiss if I didn't say this. Going as I was pursuing this, I began about 10, 15 years ago to pray and ask God to show me my purpose and my destiny. We're all here for a reason. We're all not, we're not, we are not placed on this earth just to breathe air. The, the trailblazers, the individuals that you've heard of in terms of the history that they've done for our community, they were fulfilling their purpose. They were fulfilling their destiny. And I stand before you today acknowledging and thanking God my Father for allowing me to now come to know that creating art with purpose is what my calling is. So I'm here today to, to mark with the trailblazers and you, the community, another milestone in the rich history of Fort Lauderdale's black community. Today speaks to the commitment and the desire of individuals like the Trailblazers to ensure the legacy of those who paved the way for us is forever remembered. And their desire also to inspire others to strive to make a difference in their community. One cannot even begin to depict artistically all of the history that lies within our community. Through research, through interviews, personal interviews, through listening to tapes by Dr. Kitty Oliver, I was able to glean some central, some common threads that allowed me to really create the Sankofa bird. Three things specifically, religion, education, business, entrepreneurship, self-sufficiency. There's a famous quote by uh, the late Marcus Garvey. His quote says this, a people without the knowledge of their past history origin and culture is like a tree without roots. Let's say amen to that. Amen. amen. <laughs> okay. Now, I'd like to just move forward with thanking State Representative Baba DeBow, Commissioner Robert McKenzie, Robert McKenzie, the City Commissioner of Fort Lauderdale, uh, the City Manager, Mr. Lee Feldman, Lee, are you in the back there? Uh, the Trailblazers of Broward County, Mr. Bo Cummings, under the leadership of Mr. Bo Cummings, Ms. Uh, Sonia Burroughs, um, Phil Thornburg, Eric San uh, uh, Enrique Sanchez, Carolyn Beam, uh, Chad, uh, Travis Knowles and Associates, my contractor. Travis, are you here? Okay, he's, I, he didn't, wasn't sure he was going to be here because he's got to be up in, uh, in Port St. Lucie. But also my uh, our, my uh, landscape designer, I think I saw him, Mr. Phil Kanata. Phil, are you here? Over here. Yes, Phil, thank you. Thank you so much. And I would be remiss. Folks, I could not do this. I could not do this without today celebrating my wife, Phyllis Gatsby. By the way, folks, today marks 21 years. We do that. So, but I, 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 I wanted to say that my wife has been such an inspiration to me. She allows me to do, be me, to do what I need to do. Um, and, and I couldn't, I, folks, truly, I couldn't have done it without her support. Because sometimes I'm late coming home or got to go do this and even preparing for this. Um, but I also wanted to give tribute to my mother, uh, who just, um, in the process of doing this just a week ago, I buried my mom. 
but my mother had things to fill. She loved um, <clears throat> sunflowers. The field, my, my landscape designer, mm -hmm. there are some sunflowers in there for Anna Lucas. So now, onto the inscription that's on the plaque. I want to read to you what you will find on the plaque that adorns the, the pedestal. The Sankofa bird is an adinkra symbol from the Ashanti people of Ghana, West Africa, and is said to represent positive reversion. The bird signifies the importance of returning in time to bring to the present proven values which need to be reviewed, revised, and sustained, even today and into the future. The symbol teaches the uh, wisdom and learning about the past, which helps in building the future, maintaining and cherishing cultural values. Fort Lauderdale Historical's African American community was built on a pillar of sustainable values and events, such as a sense of family and the importance of sticking together to help each other. Thriving black entrepreneurship in various trades, comprehensive medical facilities at Providence Hospital, an entertainment establishment such as the pride of Fort Lauderdale's Elks Lodge number 652 and the Windsor Club of Fifth Avenue. Migration from the Bahamas, then Georgia and South Carolina took place, bringing workers via the Henry Flagler Railroad to work on the railroad and, let's not forget, the bean fields. The churches and places of worship were the anchors in the community. Educators such as Miss Estelle Pinkett and Mr. Clarence Walker, amongst others, played a vital role in the development of the community's children at the Old Dillard High School, which was opened in 1924 as Fort Lauderdale's first colored school. This monument is dedicated to those who made significant contributions, not only to the historic Fifth Avenue Corridor and the Sistrunk Corridor, but also to the entire city of Fort Lauderdale and its African-American community. Past, present, and future, ensuring a lasting legacy. Gratitude and thanks go to the Trailblazers of Broward County, the city of Fort Lauderdale, for their commitment and tireless effort to make this monument a reality. Remembering the past, remembering the past, embracing the present, preparing for the future. Thank you.
Thank <laughs> you.